Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. More Vintage Cube. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful matches. Beautiful matches before the cube goes away. We, uh... We got a couple mono stipulations in the cube. We have mono green, mono white, and artifact. Those are all three different ones. So let's see which one we can... Which we can nail this. Do what now? Do what now? Um, mono green ramp mm -hmm. with a slight splash of any color if necessary. Mm -hmm. um, crater hoof, tooth and nail, etc. Or mono white, spectral procession, hero blade hold, etc. Or artifact mana. Those are our three. Oh, there ain't no artifacts in this. Well, you know there ain't no rampy dudes either. You could take Sphere of Heliod and hope to be the mono white deck. Badger, it's your birthday today, dude. Happy birthday, buddy. Guys, can we get some Badger love in the chat? Some birthday birthday love for Badger in the chat? There's an upheaval. That's true. We that could... does go with artifact stuff. Some Badger love? Hmm. <laughs> to Sarah Official. Are you Eric? Oh my god, it's all coming together, man. I think upheaval goes well with the artifact. I don't think there's any good green cards or white cards. Giver of Runes is okay. Sphere is like the best white card, but it's not that strong. Badger, 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 badger. What is Spear? No, I, I think a Giver of Runes is better than Spear, but I don't think either of them are. I'm going to go upheaval. We're going to try to upheaval. Oh, now, we're, now it's awkward. Sheldock? Uspev is a good mono white card. That's not White Weenie. White Weenie is the... Oh. I thought it was just Mono White. And Brick on all three steps. Right, correct. Thran Dynamo. All right, we're back in. We're, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. Mean, meanwhile, no White Weenie or green cards in these packs, so... All right, we're back in the game, boys. All right, we're going to go... We're going to try this. We're trying, we're trying the six squirrel step. Oh, what up, Tattered Bread? Elspeth makes you white weenies. She's the queen of white weenies. That sounds inappropriate. <laughs> That's, that I see what you're saying. It's not really where you want to be. Completely. <laughs> Could you be Prismatic Vista? It's the safest pick. Factor Fiction is also very good. Yeah, I like Factor Fiction better than that. F O F. Ain't noise pollution. <laughs> Did you like that? Sure. What? What? Okay. And the upheaval deck's good, but it's so lame. Um, yeah, but I'm getting tired of people doing lame shit against me. <laughs> so maybe I could just do some lame shit against them. That's for funny. once. Rock and roll ain't Michael B. Also, if you get upheaval under a shell dock, it's pretty good. If rat train wheels, upheaval gives us cards to discard. What does that mean? Vintage Cube is about doing lame shit. I tried to watch MG Goldfish and he is just so la Aw, poor Seth. Brutal. I don't know. <laughs> How salty will it be if the lame shit doesn't work? Not too salty. Not too salty. He says. Either way, this is the six squirrels rock step. Pick a bunch of artifact mana and some way to abuse it. Would love to see upheaval, but wildfire balance, winter orb are also good. Worst case, just ramp into Emrakul and call it a day. Um, I went for ramping. Ulamog the Infinite Jar is also pretty good. And it's always nice to have one of these, these Annihilator Eldrazi in case we're like... Uh, in case we're like blue red and we go through the breach or something. I don't know where the artifact mana is though, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. People snap it out pretty quick. Could take a lodestone golem. That could be good in our deck. Well, I, there's not much else in the deck. I agree. Plus if we got like metal worker, that's where you wanna be. 
Gyre? Infinite gyre? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So many gyres. J-I-R-E. Gyre. You looking up food options, man? No. What do you have for dinner? What are you having 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 for dinner? I think we take the blue red land because there's a good I was chance thinking that too. Blue red. I like control magic, but I think the blue red land is probably better. What are you? I'm going to take impulse. I think impulse is probably the best pick here. Gyre? 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 Jaya Ballard? Jaya Ballard? Task Mage? Hey, man, you still haven't gotten your nugs. I got different nugs. Oh. Yeah. Earlier you said you didn't get that, so. I didn't say I didn't got it. I just didn't specify that I got it. Okay. All right, so nugs are out. I can still have nugs. I didn't get fries. You want to do five guys? What, yeah, why terrible. does that exist? I didn't even know that existed. But they're not good. Um, I was thinking, yeah, like they were like, hey, you want to get nugs? And I'm like, okay. And then Mike's like, five guys? And I'm like, mm, I don't think they have nugs, Michael. That was not the fry comment. Guys, what if this deck isn't anything? Desperate Ritual? I'll Desperate Ritual just because we could have... Five Guys is good. <laughs> Dear God, Badger. Dear God. Rain it in, buddy. I'm just going to get a large fry and nothing else. <laughs> That's still too much food. <laughs> That's still an entire bag of french fries. Uh, a course. large bag at that. He might be good if we get Academy. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's for true. It's 25% better than four guys. Wow. That's factually accurate. Wow, this is the last pick, huh? You passed Ravages? Yeah, I know, because we're not... Oh! 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 I mean, this is just not... Sewing it's is not much close, better. yeah. Maybe this will, this could table, so... <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm almost willing to bet my entire life savings on not tabling. <laughs> well, you're not going to lose that much. Wow. Got him! <laughs> Oh, how about a workshop? I mean, it's probably going to be good for us. It's not good for upheaval, though. Yeah, but it gets your rocks out faster so you can cast it faster. I love getting my rocks out. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's really good when you bounce it with upheaval and play it as your land and play an artifact. We can also go Time Spiral and tap all our land upheaval. Time Spiral on my wheel, though. I think the worst part is we're, it's, it's, it's kind of... This is going to come back is the thing. You think so? No one's taking this piece of shit. So you want to take Delta? Or just time spiral. Thank I do kind of like Delta. Crutch Jr., thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. I don't thank think we're really a time you. spiral deck, though. No, I don't think so either. Jace's could be fine. I could, take, I could see taking Jace or the land. How come FTL lull didn't work there? Huh, that's weird. Did they do it right? I think they did. Yeah, it's all it's perfect, right? Huh. Oko makes artifacts, but we don't care about having artifacts on the board. We just care about having them in hand for... Uh, like Metalworker or something. I'm going to take Shops. I just think it's too good to, to, to pass. Oh, Celestian Signet? Sure. Any artifact mana will do. Plus, I mean, we're only one color right now, so. Yeah. That's for true. Ooh, Warren Power Stone. How come FTL all work for me, but for no one else? I don't understand. And it worked for Blank Email, but not for the Zugs or Gamma Set or, or Venom Venomancer. I don't get it. Oh, Warren Power Stone. I was going to take Metamorph, but then I saw Warren Power Stone. Well, then I go, huh, huh, huh. -na 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 -na. You know that song? I was going to take my B to school, but then I go, huh, huh. Because cause that was me being your dad, you know? Going to take my son Mike to school, but then I go, huh, huh. Are you listening to my song? I feel like you're not. I feel like you're not listening to my song. I heard your stupid song. It's... Oh, we got a lot of mana. Yeah, there. I feel like this one's coming together. Oh, now he's going to play for real and win every game. <laughs> was he just playing for fun before this? Yeah. I was just goofing around. I, this isn't even my final form. Now you're going to make me play serious and everyone's going to quit the league because I'm only going to win. I'm like, no, dude. 
No, you're not. You're not that good. Oh, God, that guy seems insufferable. And like, oh, that's not the same guy. It's a different guy. That's a different dude. Yeah. He also thinks he's really good, and he's 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 not. He's okay. This is the fun lame draft. I agree. Also, we're just not, we're like we're on course to just cast this Ulamog. Just be torrential gear hulk. Not safe for work. Frank is high on nugs with his rocks out. Wow. I am high on nugs with my rocks out. I was gonna take my son Mike B to school. Well then I got huh. Mike B, you just said me on Facebook. I am SH with a rabbit hat. Yeah, I accepted you. Lion's Eye Diamond. That's where you want to be. Sack that bad boy. Discard my whole hand. Looks like a nice brown deck. I think I just want to take Ancient Grudge. You know, for the sideboard. Flame Tongue Cobb is also not terrible either. Yeah, you could actually consider that. We do have a wear tear. I could take Flame Tongue Cobb and just play it. This guy's a... Th oh, Zealous Conscripts is nice. Yeah, let's take that. There's also a Pestermite in the pack. Yeah, Zealous Conscripts just wins games, though, too. Preordain? That's a late Preordain. It's also a Battle Sphere. But it's probably good for us. It's only good if we have Metalworker, though, right? Like, I mean, like none of these artifacts need other artifacts yet. Right, but it's also good because we can just cast it very early. Who Whatever. cares about Metalworker? Whatever, man. Just Karn? Karn just seems great here. Like, it makes 4-4s four and 5-5s. Five sure. Just slight change quick play return. Play what? Return. R Ragnos return? Yeah. There's no chance. We're never having black and red. I would rather just take a removal spell. Are you casting this? No. <laughs> no. No one's ever done it before. <laughs> no one's ever done it. That's never happened in the history of Magic the Gathering. He's not wrong. Oh, dang, got him. Who? Dude just posted, it, like, one of those poker memes again. This might be decent in our deck. Oh, it's great in our deck. Plus, it also fulfills the, uh... Anyway, the quote says, you can't bluff the good players, but you can bluff the good players, but not the bad players. Against the uh, bad players, you have to have a hand. And then he's like, yeah, exactly right. No one can bluff you. Got him. Yeah, because, like, everyone... That literally describes everyone in your fucking games. Good pickup. Got him. That's a good pickup. No artifact mana that we're passing either. Oh yeah, Soul Ring and Ancestral. Living that, living that. Dream. Oh, Scalding Tarn seems great I here. I can literally take data from from me playing and give you that exact example that you can't bluff these play these people. Are you talking about data from Star Trek? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> you, you said saying? you could take data, and I was like, oh, you can take data from Star Trek. That seems illogical. Is it Karn or Mystic Confluence here? I don't think we're going to be a deck that's holding up Mana Man. Mana Man? <laughs> I agree. I want that Karn. Give me that sweet Karn. Do you like sweet Karn? I prefer mild Karn. Do you like cream Karn? <laughs> yeah. Me too. Me too. Oh, now with Torrential Gear Hook with Ancestral Recall? Ooh. Mike B, what's the most overrated pizza topping? Sausage. Pineapple. No, pineapple's just bad. It's not overrated. That people If people overrate it, Ancient Tomb seems pretty good in our deck. Seems real good. I love a Volcanic Island. We have two Karns in our deck. Hashtag two Karns. I was gonna take my B to school, but then I. No, you weren't. He doesn't go to school. <laughs> but uh, dot, 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 dot. Oh, we're not playing that Gear Hulk, that's for sure. We're not playing Gear Hulk? No. Wait, why? Why would we? Because we have Ancestral Recall, uh, Impulse, recall Char, Factor Fiction. It's an artifact. Well, it doesn't matter yet. 
I mean, it does because we have Lodestone Golems not affected by that. We can cast it early. Like, why wouldn't we play? It's a 5 6, so it survives burning. Like, I guess I, that's true. I think we have tons of reason to play a Torrential Gear Hulk in this deck. And we're going to get past Metalworker in this pack, so it's kind of like. Metalworker would be pretty insane. Yeah, it just kind of works out, Our you know? Academy. Academy! And actually, Academy would be okay in our deck, I'm saying. I mean, I was, I was sold on Gearhulk when we had, like, Factor Fiction Impulse Char, but, like, once we hit Ancestral Recall, I was like... Oh, you can also cast it off a of Workshop. Yeah, that's true. I totally forgot we had Workshop. Yeah, that's real good. Recall is three reasons by itself. <laughs> Torrential Gearhulk, if you have Recall in the art, is just a really good Mold Drifter. I may have forgotten we had Recall. I may have forgot that we had a Recall. Is this Signet, right? Yes, yes it is. I was actually thinking Mind Slayer, but I do like Signet better here. For sure. Mind Slayer's good and all, but... Tangle Wire. Over Urza? No, I was kidding. God, my god. But it would be it. okay in our deck. So would Urza. Urza's like. Dude, Urza's like. Dude, Urza's like. Dude, Urza like. Dude, Urza like. Dude, Urza like. <laughs> I hope you know that was deliberate, man. <laughs> Can't make fun of a man when he's deliberately doing a bit. God. You can only make fun of people's shortcomings, Michael. That wasn't a shortcoming if I'm doing. You however you want. However I want? That's how yeah, you can make fun of me? Exactly. Okay, Donald. well, let me tell you how I want you to make fun of me, <laughs> okay. and you'll do it. That's great. You stupid Mitch. Banefire for the slow matchup? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't think we're playing Season Song. Come on, Metal Worker. Don't do me dirty. <sighs> Beast Skull. Oh, what about the land? Bazaar of Bag? Oh, Wandered Funeral? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Bazaar of Baghdad? No, not that one. Yeah, all right. Oh, Bloodstained Mire came back. Unfortunately, we have nothing to search for it, though, so it's literally yeah, it's just, a just a mountain. Just take Confluence. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's our deck. No, nothing. Creeping Tarpid came back? Good gravy. Is Gush just... Mm. Gush is playable, and we're not playing Tarpid. I'm not saying we play it, but we probably don't play it. I mean, it is good with Gearhold. It's also good with... No, nah, it's not good with people. <laughs> I was like, it's also good with upheaval. No, nah, it ain't. It's okay. You can respond to upheaval and use it, but like, you also have so many cards in hand, you don't really want to draw anymore. Got him. Man, the FTLs aren't working. What's going on? Tangle wire? I don't even hate Seething Song in this deck, to be quite honest. I think Tangle Wire is better than Fire Confluence in the main. No, no Marsh Flats. Oh, baby. This deck looks beautiful. Oh, baby. This is a beautiful baby boy. Baby, baby. Mirror's all itchy. Good for you, man. <laughs> Good for you, man. Good for you. I think six four. This is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then four, five, six, seven. Seems good. Yeah, that seems fine. Seventeen land soul ring, two signets. I put the tango wire in over the fire confluence. Really? Because I think it's actually pretty good for us. But fiery. It's also double red. I just didn't want to have too many double red spells. Yeah, I can see that. They snuck in a planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven. We'll just do ten, eight. And try and be sneaky because of the Legionnaire. Yeah, they're like, oh, you got a Legionnaire in there, huh? Well, yeah, I didn't even notice that. We would have totally played with it. Actually, because of Fiery Confluence. Oh, it's a sorcery. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh. It's not instant, dude. Jesus. That would be good, though, right? That would be too good. Maybe Gush over Tanglewire? 
No, I think Tanglewire is good for us. We have a lot of artifacts. All right. I think chat wants you to take out the planes, but I could be wrong. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the stromboli. What? You heard me. Ravioli, ravioli, send Michael Spinoli on OV. <laughs> that's a, that's Italian. I could go for a stromboli. Yeah, where are you gonna get one? There ain't none in town. <laughs> You're like you can find this whole, you can search this whole town for a stromboli. It don't exist. You can get a calzone, but that's not the same. Calzone, calzone, send the stromboli on over. A. That's not very good either. Also, stromboli is very different. It's more long, you know. It's a different experience. I bet it is. Also, doesn't have ricotta. Um. Yeah, this seems good. I'll keep it. You play both these on turn one. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. Oh. Oh. No, you can't. No, I can't. I'm. It's still fine. It's still. It is still fine, but like. It is funny that it doesn't work that way, though. Hmm. <whistles> Down the street. Yeah, did you guys did you guys hear about Mike's old fashioned yesterday? <laughs> His favorite old fashioned recipe was like spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the AC is on, not the heat. One, two, three. The AC is definitely on. The AC is on. You gonna jump? No. Okay. It was a really weird recipe. I know, man. He's wild. Mike is a wild, wild man. Okay, so burning of Zinni is actually. Just gonna not do much because you got a selfless spirit, I guess. It's a lot of one ones. It was a really weird recipe. I'm scared for Mike's long term health. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You guys don't put spaghetti in your old fashions? I do. Well, COVID delay you move to Colorado? Probably not. I mean, it's not a lot of interacting, right? Like, we're just driving the, the truck down to... Like, I I made the drive recently, actually. It's only like nine hours, eight and a half hours. So I just get in my car, drive the car down, unload it. I'm in a new house. Plus, I work from home. I don't see anyone. All right, well, we're at six. So Factor Fiction got to be finding us something good here. People had enough. Give me some more. Hmm. COVID doesn't do anything worse. It does Beach not do anyway. anything. Soaring lets us upheaval, which is pretty cool. So does Black Lotus. We don't have that. We might. We're one man away from surviving. You just tangle while they just tap it to lands. Right. I guess we could impulse. See if there's anything. That could help us. There's not. Actually, that's funny because Basalt Monolith literally would have let us uh, do the same thing. Oh! Basalt Monolith actually would have done it. How? Because we would have played three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. That's really disappointing. 
So we have three, four, five, six. We wouldn't be able to actually float anything. And we would have had to play our land for the turn. So I still don't actually think it puts us in great shape. But would it survive? Burning also the next card. Jeez. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. fire conflict seems good here. Yeah, it do. It do be seeming good. We could probably take out Karn. Or Battles here. Don't tell me what to do. I get so tired of your rules, Michael. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, the, the drive, I, I made the drive, like, a couple weeks back, and it was actually just, like, actually a week and a half ago. And it was just fine. Like, it was such a smooth drive. Yeah, we don't have enough creatures to put swords on. No, I don't think so. I agree. Thank you! Oh, Mike's old my sperm. What does that mean? Huh. Mike sold my sperm. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Smokey Loki, you know. Yikes. How many times are we going to get mad at It's going to be one of those fucking days, guys. Just going to be one Just of those one days. Just one of those days. Turn Mike B around. Turn him into a clown. He's already a clown. Mike, do you want to explain why you sold the sperm for the record? Well, for profit, obviously. How much you make? A thousand dollars per sperm. No, that would be insane. Oh God, you'd be a billionaire. take four to kill this selfless spirit it's a little awkward but you got to do it it's it's Thank you. it ain't it ain't much but it's an honest living <laughs> just one of those days gifted <laughs> sub to one of those days oh dear scoot do 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 Mm, containment priest, huh? Well, see you later. Gideon, huh? Well, oh, that's pretty annoying. That's yeah. I was like, oh, cool, play another creature that I can. Burning of Zinyi. Mike, why are you selling people sperm, man? For profit. It's messed up. Guess we're taking nine. <sighs> Numbers dead to Gideon. Yeah. Don't play land first. Well, we're at one. So this is a blank. Me and him have a real business going here. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that's great because we can actually cast it off the signet, dude. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just a three on first striker. Right, but it's a card we can cast and block their 2-2 that comes down this turn so that we don't die. 
Mao. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! No, that's not that's not a real thing that's happening anytime soon. Didn't attack, huh? No, because they play containment priest and kill us. Oh, it's got flash, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, they'll draw a removal spell. Draw? They already got it in hand. See? Wait, <laughs> wait is that a real way? Hold on. Yes, they blink our guy. So, so it's EOT? I yeah. thought it was just like on and off. No. There you oh, go. Okay. Jesus, looking amazing, dude. Amazing. All right, let's try that again. I'm sure that was just a fluke. That cat sounds judgmental. Oh, he judges. This turtle's pretty judgmental over here. No. 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 What are we eating, man? What? What are we eating? Huh? Are you okay? What are you having for dinner, man? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Little man, feed me. Mike, feed me. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I feel like the odds of them manatizing this are low. It's okay, they got force of will. <laughs> They're like, force of negation, stupid. I'm like, oh, no. Did the guy from yesterday make it with the feud? He did. He did. Oh, good. Yeah, big old Sammies. What do you think? Fact or fiction here? That was delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. I have never had the... Wait, you took that over fact or fiction? That's just a worse fact or fiction. Why would you ever take that over fact or fiction? Especially when you have plenty of mana to cast it. Now we can untap our... I know, that's that's why I did that, yeah. You like that? That's why I did that. You like that, Jimmy? Did you like it, Jimmy? What were you gonna say? Um I've never had the grilled cheese from Five Guys, is it good? Oh yeah, that's different than like the Yeah, I just get the veggie burger. sandwich with cheese. Oh, I guess this because they want to take it with this. What if they take two grilled cheeses and put the veggie sandwich in between it for you? Man, maybe I just want a grilled cheese and some fries. That sounds great, actually. How are their grilled cheeses? I haven't had them, but I mean, they have a grill. And they I'm have not cheese. talking about you. I'm talking about the chat. Who has has them? Tell me what. Tell me what's. Tell me. Tell me. Get, sell me on the grilled cheese because I feel like it's. It would be basic, but it. See what I drew. I'm gonna shoot this little bitch in the face. <laughs> what about fries on the grilled cheese? Hmm. It has cheese. That's all you need to know. That's true. An inside-out bun. It has cheese. It also has bread. Go on. Tell me more. Tell me more about your bunny breads. Oh, you're just going to kill my flame tongue, Kavu. Okay. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we can just, we can, we just will mog here. If we hit it off the tibbity top. Sure. I think we just take the biggest piles. I got I got your big piles right here, Michael. Yeah, give me that. I'll take that top pile. Oh, they want to put the reds together because they have it burning. Sure. Classic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
Actually, I don't need to do that. I'll just go Soul Ring into Load Daddy. What, excuse me? What was that? <laughs> you know, Load Daddy. Oh, God. Come on. Everybody knows the Load Daddy. Oh, boy. Call the Load Daddy. He'll fix your pains. You know that jam? <laughs> I guess so. Do you know it or not know it, Michael? I don't know it. Oh god, Ulamog. That's, that's that still could be an Ulamog. It could be whatever you want. Why did you? Because I have a lodestone golem on the board. Oh, it's a card that's on the board. Why aren't you an artifact? I feel like you're just a fake. So you're for... a fake defect. <laughs> fake defect. I mean, you don't want to tap your assault. I guess you can just untap it anyway. Yeah, I don't. I think I have enough mana that I don't need to take two damage from this. Yeah, that's probably game. Let's go to the next game. Let's go to game two. Oh, they lost connection. Well, let's see if they if they. Oh. Uh, okay. They just conceded the whole match. I guess so. What a crybaby! God, even when I get even when I get. I can see the whole match. Even when I get salted out, like I don't, I don't leave the match, man, and disconnect like a crybaby. Also, the reason they lost isn't because of Karn. The reason they lost is because they had they're stuck on three lands. Right, like there's a very, to take there's advantage. a very real chance that does, doesn't happen in the next game. Oh, this is a, this is a goddamn gorgeous hand. You crushed opponent like you crushed Mike's, like Mike crushed his foot. Oh God, I watched man, I, can't, I man, I hope Mike gets better. I want to go for walks again, man. I really enjoyed that last walk I went on. Yeah, I was kind of really getting into it, man. I was but failing it. I can't really do it right now. Shut up and take my money. Oh, one little Jimmy bug. <laughs> That's so random. All right, man. So we're getting five guys? Yeah, five guys sounds cheese. fine. I'll try grilled cheese. How much cheese do they put on? I hope a lot. Is one grilled cheese going to be enough to... Is that going to be enough to sate my appetite? Or are you going to need to get two grilled cheese? No, I mean, the fries are definitely going to be enough, right? Probably. Ten cheese? Badger, do you guys even have... Do you guys have five guys in Australia? Oh, what up, Bobby Biscuits? No, they have, they have, they have five mates. Five mates. <laughs> I was going to say it. That was pretty good. I mean, Australia is pretty big. You're like, yeah, there's probably one somewhere around here. Uh, one, two, Shut three, four. Oh, one crybaby bug. <laughs> See, that's funny. What size fries one, are you One, two, getting? three, four, five. Me? Yeah. Small. What am I, a maniac? Oh, I'm getting me... Jesus. You always regret it. In and outs. I, I enjoy In and Out. The last time I got a single burger and a medium fry, it was perfect. It's actually a really cool story. I used to get double burgers and a small fry. Shut up and take my money. Oh, God. Oh, God. Call the load, Daddy. You'll fix your pains, especially if Mike B's your name. Bend over and smile. He's coming soon. Gonna be so thick. What is the... What? Who even sent that? What? Oh, I'm talking about loaded baked potatoes. Nasty, man. Stop smiling like... <laughs> oh. Cajun fries are where it's at. I'm just gonna play this guy. Our opponent with one man. One thing I don't be... like about going to Five Guys right now... What? Is they don't have the little things to make the ketchups. I know. I hate that as well. They have fry sauce. No, I want. I want a big want. thing of ketchup because like packets because don't do anything. Yeah, packets are not enough, and they're not convenient. Bro, I hear you. I'm just gonna play the island and then just slam a torrential gear hulk after this. And then we just have ten power on the board. It's also a surprise. Even if I don't get anything out of this, it's just a. It's just a five. It's just a five-six flash on turn three, so that seems good. A load, daddy emote or riot, <laughs> <laughs> guys. I mean, there's a pretty decent chance they're just like dead to this. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't think we do have ketchup at the house. I wouldn't be surprised if they had some, but I don't want to like. I don't want to use their, their ketchup, ketchup, right? I use a lot of ketchup on my French fries. You probably use the whole goddamn bottle. Uh, boy, I'll tell you what. Can you order a bottle of ketchup from Five Guys? No, uh, I don't think so. I think it's probably just cheaper to go to Walmart and get one. Yeah, they probably charge you like ten dollars for a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this ketchup hater. I mean, Mayonnaise on fries? You got that? That's true. I do got some 
Some barbecuesels? I mean, okay, so do I risk it when they might have, like, Remand or Mana Leak? No, we got a new text message. I think we can wait another turn. Especially if you draw Ancestral. Oh, that'd be juice. Oh, the burning of Mike B. That's pretty nice. Should I send that to you so you can put it in the You're chat? repealing my soul ring. Let's share that with the class. I think I just want to play Torrential Gearhook now because... I guess I can wait. I'm only losing one mana by that. It's fine. Oh, that's pretty big. There, now you can share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy costs twelve. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> This my classic dirtle face. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. You know what? I'm just going to play Power Stone here. Also, if we draw upheaval, what do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. Upheaval costs 7. We have 3 floating. We can replay a land. Ancient Tomb. Go to nine. Go to, go to 5. And play Power st Okay, they're probably just... You know the burger sauce that every restaurant says is a special house sauce? That's actually my favorite, so I go with fries. Yeah. Big Mac, or whatever you want to call it, sauce is good with fries, too. But Five Guys doesn't have that. So. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're so close, dude. Why aren't you an artifact? Making your way in the world today. That sauce is fry sauce? No. They're very different. Fry sauce and like Big Mac sauce are definitely not the same. Yeah, that's Big Mac sauce is like Thousand Island. Make sure that costs 12. Yep, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. One shy. One Wait, why? shy shy. What do you mean why? Because this this is still on the board. Oh, he's not an artifact. <laughs> well, he's colorless, but he ain't no artifact. I thought Big Mass House was Russian dressing. Yeah, Russian dressing and Thousand Island are basically the same thing. Yeah, it's very there's very slight difference between the two. Do we need Ulamog to win? No, but I mean, if I have an Ulamog in my hand, I kind of want to cast it. Fry sauce plus relish is Big Mac sauce. No, there's fry sauce has a, a different, has like a, a more tanginess to it. I yeah, don't I don't think fry sauce tastes like, tastes like. No, I do not think so. Making your way in Michael B. Everything loops. Sloopy doop doop doo doo doo. It's my name is Michael B. Every day it's Muggle B. What are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Fry sauce is just ketchup with mayo. No, I mean that's two ketchup with mayo. Ketchup and mayo are the two ingredients, but it's like I think there's more ketchup than mayo, and there's also some kind of like vinegariness or something in it. I don't know. At least the fry sauce I've had does not just taste like Big Mac sauce without pickles or whatever. Pickles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure fry sauce is just ketchup, mayo, and some spices. That has pretty much been my uh, my experience. Are you questioning my fast food supremacy? I would never do that. No, I'm not questioning your supremacy. I'm just saying, like, I've had fry sauce, like, two days ago, and it was not, it was definitely not Big Mac sauce minus pickles. I hope they don't have cryptic command, but they will because they're choosing their modes right now. Which seems pretty easy. You just bounce the loads to, oh, I see. Let's hit a land so we can Ulamog here. Oh god, that's not the land I wanted. It's gonna be Ancestral Recall under here. Yeah, you're the only one that does anything. I'm afraid they're gonna put like a Gristlebrand, but that seems 
What can we like? What can they have here? I've had fry sauces before that do kind of taste like Big Mac sauce, but the ones around here definitely don't taste like Big Mac sauce. Troubles are all the same. Maybe it's just the Utah fry sauce is like different. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yes, we have eleven mana. Ulamog costs twelve. We have a lodestone golem on the board. He figured it out. Come on, guys, get it together. Uh. Oh, they're just cycling. Okay, cool. Well, maybe we just have it. I assume with their six cards they had something, but maybe they don't. Oh, boy. Look at all these mana rocks. Mana rocks. Ma, ma, mana rocks. Ma, 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 mana rocks. Mana rocks. I'm going to fire your confluence in again. I just think it's better. It's just so good. What did you take out? Uh, just Tangle Wire again. Okay. I like it because it kills uh, Arcane Artisan. So if they like put a Gristle Brand on play or something, like we just need to be able to kill the Arcane Artisan. So are you getting tired, man? You want to call the? You want to call it in? Call it in. What does that mean? Order the five guys. Oh yeah. I thought you meant something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. This is what Kerwood just sent us. <laughs> <laughs> this hand is bad. And it makes me feel bad. This hand is good and it makes me feel good. Feels good. We don't have a mox though, so playing Ancestral on turn one doesn't really do much. You know what's cool about Ancestral? Mm, no. You can cast it any turn you want. God, you're right. Oh, they mulled a five on the play. Ooh, yikes. Oh, they mulled a four. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Uh, Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Cool stuff, Inc. And Mana Traders, which has an awesome subscription service. Definitely check out Mana Traders. You can find the link and promo code down below. You will get 20% off the first three months of any subscription if you use that info down, down below. <laughs> you okay? Somewhere out there is a trucker with a very uh, variety vanity plate. Load daddy. Let's do this now because I don't really get want to get miscalked. Load daddy. Sitting on my liberty do my be living in the trash can of every day. It's a song I just wrote. How do you order from Five Guys? Do you have to call it in, or can you do it online? Yeah, I imagine there's somewhere to deliver. Sorry, I think Uber Eats has it. You might as well check your uh, premium on though. Grubby hubby. It's DoorDash, Michael. DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Beats. Uber Beats? Thing. Was that the fucking one by Dre? Uber Beats by Dre? Yeah. Nice. Get him. Oh. 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 We're living it. It's happening. Char over Sword of Feast of seems questionable. Disagree. I literally just killed a threatening creature that that could put like 8-8s eight and 5-5s five and 10-10s ten into play. Like, that's, that's incredibly greedy. To, um. Also, again, we don't have that many creatures. So Sword might be a really bad card to draw. Mm, did this one? How about Lodi Boy? How about a Salty Boy? All right, we have nine power on the board, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven normal mana, ten artifact mana. Hmm. Well, that'll win the game next turn, I bet. Oh man, Misha's workshop casting fucking Torrential Girl Hulk to hit Ancestral Recall. Oh, please. I think we're going to win this game. Yeah, I think the game is already won. I 
Also, this is putting a lot of power on the board. I don't know what they could actually have. Sure, but like now you have... Well, they're just dead on board, aren't now they? Now you're just dead. Guess they have a bouncy spell. It doesn't matter. We have three creatures. Well, technically, you didn't need to attack with the... Well, that's why I wanted to, though. Well, what are they going to bounce with a red and a green? That's true. And... And... 2-1 with the Mana Rock deck. Thank you so much for the stipulation, Six Squirrels. Really appreciate it, buddy. And uh, hopefully that was enough Mana Rocks, my dude. Yeah, that's, I mean, if that if that Gearhulk resolved, that would have been pretty sweet. Too bad they had manager in, but they still lost. But this is game two, not one. What does that mean? I know, that's why we won the game. That's why we won the match, right? What's happening right now? Either way, thank you for the stipulation, man. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, that was uh, mana rocky enough. And we did have upheaval, and we did have wildfire. And uh, I feel like we did it. You said the game was one? Oh. Wow. Wow, Squiggle. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out all the aforementioned links. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate the support, guys.